GitHub Copilot is this amazing tool. We can generate code just from plain spoken language with it. We can refactor code. We can translate code from like Python to C Sharp. We can generate unit tests. Another thing that we can do with Copilot though is we can unleash our creative side with it and we can use it for non-coding purposes to, well, let's say organize recipes and generate meal plans and things like that. So non-coding purposes as well. And that's what I wanna show you in this video and how we can be creative with Copilot. All right, so here is our folder full of recipes. Now we've collected these over the years. Some of them might be just HTML files that we downloaded from the internet. If we were thinking we grabbed the recipe and we put it in the markdown so we can easily see the recipe to follow it. Or maybe if we weren't thinking, we just put it into a text file and it's super long and it's really hard to follow because it's all in one single line. All right, but what we're gonna do is that we're gonna use Copilot to help us be a little bit more creative with our recipes. We're gonna have it help us go through and search. We're gonna have it help us figure out what recipe maybe might be vegetarian and what's good for dinner, what's good for breakfast. We're gonna have it help us do things like that. It's gonna help us be more creative long-term. It's gonna do all the hard work for us. All right, the very first thing I want to do is that we're just gonna start asking questions. We're in ask mode. I have the GPT-4.1 selected. So I'm going to say, using the recipes in this folder, tell me what's made with chicken. So now I went and found out the three recipes that were made with chicken. And I can go through, I can pick one and Thai green chicken curry. Sure does look like it was made with chicken. In fact, that's the first ingredient. Great, so it's going through and searching for me and I'm starting to think, oh, maybe I'm trying to figure out some dinner ideas based off of this. So cool, yeah, let's, let's do that. Okay, so I want to use the Thai green chicken curry recipe as my main. Is there anything in the recipes folder that would go good with it? Cool, so now I came up with some things that might go good with it. The strawberry poppy seed salad of chicken, I need a little bit too much chicken. The Moroccan chickpea stew, that's probably too heavy. So it looks like everything I have here might be a little bit too much to go with it. So let's see, it actually did suggest, you know, maybe getting some curry with a jasmine rice. So that actually does sound a little bit better. So that's what I'm gonna ha start having it do. I'm gonna say something like this. Figure out a brand new recipe for me, or actually just come up with a couple different suggestions that aren't even in this recipe folder that would go good with the Thai chicken curry. Cool, so now it actually came up with some things that I could make that we don't have in our recipe folder. So now we're starting to get the all creative flow going. And I'm gonna switch over to agent mode. And from here in agent mode, I'm now going to ask it, you know what? Create a recipe in a new markdown file for the Thai cucumber salad. So it's gonna go, we're in agent mode, so it should be creating a brand new file for me with this great new recipe. And let's take a peek at it. I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna open this up. We'll make that a little bit bigger. And cucumbers, red onion, carrot, rice vinegar, a sugar, it looks good to me. Yeah, it's almost like I was generating code, right? But using Copilot to brainstorm it. So, but yeah, using it to brainstorm recipe. So yeah, totally different, kind of similar, right? So yeah, so that's searching and I'm having it suggesting and I'm having it create things too. So one last thing I wanna ask it, I'm gonna move it back to ask mode. Do I have any desserts in the recipes folder that would go good? Great. The pistachio pudding cookies, which is a wonderful recipe, and also the peanut blossoms, which actually came from my grandma. Also, another a wonderful recipe to make as well. So cool. Imagine if my recipes folder had hundreds, maybe even thousands of recipes in there, and we could start iterating over it and creating a whole meal plan for us. And that's what I want to start doing now, is I want to start having Copilot and us think about what we can create again for a meal, but this time for many different people. 
I'm going to throw a dinner party this Saturday and there's going to be maybe about 10 people coming and we're going to have all different types of food restrictions. And so right now, though, I'm just thinking I need to have stuff prepared for both vegetarians and people who enjoy eating meat. So what can I have for both a main and also for a side course and for dessert and that would solve everything. So give me some suggestions. Cool. So now I went out and looked for my main course, look for the side courses. Great. He even suggested our Thai cucumber salad and for dessert. Vegetarian, classic. Vegetarian tells me it's nutty and sweet. Cool. All right. So let's say here we're going to make the Moroccan chickpea stew and we are also going to make the Korean beef bukaji and then the strawberry poppy seed salad. And that's all. We're not going to do dessert. All right. So of those, and I already told that we have, what, 10 people coming? Cool. So now let's start planning this out. Okay. So what we're going to make is the Korean beef. We're going to make the Moroccan chickpea stew and the strawberry poppy seed salad. So what I need to know then, I have some chicken on hand. I have plenty and plenty of chicken on hand, but I need a shopping list of what I need to get when I go to the store. Can you give me a brand new markdown file, call it shopping-list.md and put in there exactly what I need to get and organize it by food type, like by produce and meat and so on. Now, one thing is cool here. You notice that we're using a markdown file. We're using an HTML file and we're using a TXT file. And... Because I was in ask mode, it didn't actually create the new file for me like I thought it would. That's my fault. I didn't put it back into agent mode. But here we have everything that we want. And so what I'm going to do is this. I'm just going to copy and then I will add it myself. Shopping list.md and put it in here. Cool. So there we go. And it did not put any chicken in there because I told it I have plenty. Awesome. So now we're brainstorming here and thinking what we need to do. The next thing I want to have Copilot do is help me actually figure out when I need to make what. So I'm having this dinner party on Saturday. Again, it's for like 10 people. And I expect the guests to all start eating at 7 p.m. And they're going to start arriving at 5 p.m. And so I'm going to start being really busy at 5. So I need you to help me figure out when I should start making what. Um, so create a brand new file called preparations.md and list out when I should be doing what for those recipes that we just created or decided on. And so what it's going to do, it's going to use all the context that we have in this chat. So what recipes that we're going to make. And then in the preparations, here we go. 10 guests tells me what to do. And what's interesting about all this is that it already is scaling up the recipes from before. Cool. And so like the Moroccan chickpea stew, it reheats well. So make it in advance and then refrigerate it. Excellent. All right. So the final thing I want to have us help brainstorm is let's say that we are out or browsing a recipe, a website, and we have come across, let's say, a recipe that we want, the heirloom tomato bruschetta. It looks great. And we all know the problem with recipe websites is that you have to read forever and pass like 50 million ads to get to the ingredients and the directions, right? And so let's see what Copilot can do to help us out with that. Back out to here. Let me clear things out. And I'm just going to ask it. I'll type it in just to be a little bit safer. Can you grab the ingredients and the directions for this recipe? and put it into a new file called heirloom. How about this? Let's just make it an appropriately named file to an appropriately named file. Mark down though. And let's we'll see what it can come up with. And so the first thing it's going to do is going to ask us, hey, can I go out to the internet? Are you cool with that? Yep. We copied it in the website. We believe it's safe. And it's going to go and it's just going to sort through all that text and just grab what we want. And it added it to the heirloom tomato bruschetta.md. Let's take a peek at it. And even better, it even put in the image for us, the ingredients, and the directions. And so as a final, I'm going to say, can you scale the ingredients by 2x? 
in the file. And so now we should have, once it's done, 16 slices of bread. Nice. So what I was doing with Copilot here is I was having it being a little bit creative. I was having me being a little bit creative and kind of joining forces together. Now, this is for recipes, and but you can easily imagine and extend this to your development environment. Like, so now you're brainstorming with Copilot, like, should we add this feature and how should we do it? And you have a bunch of text files, maybe from previous applications, you wrote, from previous specs or some previous brainstorming with your team. And you have it iterate over and over. And you can think about, all right, I want to add feature X, feature Y. How would you do it? What else would you do? And then finally have it create a recipe for you, so to speak. And now you can start feeding that into Copilot again. And let's say that recipe tells you how to generate the feature that you were thinking and brainstorming about. So that's really cool. So you can take this creative bent to when you start want to, wanting to create code with Copilot. So you don't necessarily have to just do a one and done. You can actually start thinking about how am I going to create an application with Copilot and start thinking back and forth and iterating with it. And then once you have that, then feed it in and having it start generate code. You don't have to go right to the generation of code. Think it through, have some fun first, get to where you want it to go and then go. So with that, give it a try. Let us know what you think. Love, love to hear what you build with it. I, I love this. I'm super excited about it. And I'm sure y'all too. So thank you so much for watching.